Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. I'm Zelda Master 2010, and yes, we are actually old in this game. We are mature, so I'm gonna start cursing. Considering Link's ears will not be spoiled as such a young whatever. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, now we're leaving the Temple of Time. Last episode, after pulling the Master Sword. We noticed that pulling that massive sword was the key for gaining conquering Hyrule. Look at what we come to this place. The Temple of Time, which looks like a church. Actually, still looks the same. It's just dark. Whatever. Um, now look at the market. This is the marketplace where we used to buy and play and watch a couple dance and stuff. But yeah. Now Redeads conquered it. Or maybe they're the townspeople. I'm not sure. But what the hell is that? Remember, it was like a green field and everything. Well, let's check. You know, it was Prince Zelda's castle. We'll see how Prince Zelda's doing. Oh, wait, she escaped. But what is this place? It's really windy. Way too windy. Oh, my. Gasping of gasp. God. Gasp. Whatever. It's a floating castle of doom. But what's it called? Ganon's castle. Thank you. I really need that text to pop up every time so I can remember. So I usually stall you guys and saying, what is that, what is that, what is that, until it comes out. I'm like, oh, no, I do know it. It's Gan's castle. Ah, uh, you see, okay, whatever. Usually I'd put in a punch phrase thing, but I, I don't want to. It feels like I'm making fun of someone. So what is, why am I here now if it's a floating castle and can't head here? Well, look at that. Yeah, it's Golden Skull's law. How am I going to get it? Well, don't ask me, because I don't know. Okay, maybe I do know. Um, you want to slash it. And you can say, oh, but old master, how the f am I going to get it? Well, yeah, you jump. You jump, guys, and you end up, well, falling down. And that sounded like a song, but I don't know where the lyrics are from. Falling down something. We are back in the market, so we got to go to Skulltula now. I could finish up next episode and be able to come back here and get it with a certain item that I'm able to get it. Sheik mentioned it, but, you know, I, I go for sacrifice. You know me, I'm Zilt Master. Who are you? Well, you're the viewers of Zilt Master, so that means you're a master too, because you follow. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um, here we are in Hyrule Field. Oh, wow, it didn't even look a bit different, does it? Well, but no, Stell Childs are not appearing off of the floor. See? That's an advantage to nothing. This is because they were never annoying anyways. But yeah, when you're an adult or when you go seven years in the future, no stall child come out. So I'm heading to Long Long Ranches. You know, it's been seven years. We haven't really done anything. We haven't taken a shower. But, you know, we're the hero of time. We have an excuse. But I don't have an excuse when I don't. No, I'm kidding. I take a shower. You know, me, you know. Whatever. I played the song the sun song to make it daytime because you only can do this when it's daytime so head to Lon Lon Ranch nope and I did know it before the text appeared on the screen so shut up whoever was gonna uh, just pretend someone was gonna talk let's head over and talk to this dude and we'll figure out everything there are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of this ranch but don't be ridiculous that talent guy was weak. Ah, uh, so he's in go. Um, this guy really looks like Luigi. Talon looks like, well, Mario, and I kind of give him that reference. Mario and Luigi, the fat, nice guy. Well, Luigi actually was never, whatever. Uh, you know, fat and then short with mustaches or skinny. So what you want to do is talk to him. He took over again and gave him this ranch because Talon's a nice guy. He's an evil guy. Pay him 10 rupees to play, and yay, we get to ride a pony. We get to ride a pony, woohoo. And we got carrots on the screen, and that shows us how fast we're going, because every time we smack it, well, we're not going to ride this one. But yeah, every time you smack it, it takes away a carrot, and then, well, you can't run so fast. No, oh my god, what's that red haired horse? Looks so beautiful. Oh my god. Well, that horse is a pony, and. Well, Apona is, remember Apona's song that we learned a while ago, and yes, yeah, so you can write her. And that's it, so we have about 30 seconds left, 34. And you know what I'm going to do? Well, I'm just going to waste time, guys, so let's, let's, let's ride this horse. 
I never thought I'd ride a horse, so I'm riding it in a video game, and I'm running around, and I'm just wasting time of this let's play, because I don't give a f and yeah, so who and no, it's not what you're supposed to do, so, I'm gonna skip when I just start this mini game. Alright, so when you don't do that, what I just did there, what you want to do is call opponent once this mini game starts, you have a minute. And let's kind of get on track, enough joking around, but head over and talk to Ingo, so. Wanna make a little wager, 50 rupees? Well, if I don't say so myself. No, I'm gonna play with him, so yeah, the huge fist, and yeah, we play a mini game. what we're gonna do is race him around this track, basically, just the whole ranch. And what you wanna do, basically, is to get the victory is make sure you're always in the inside once you pass them you're safe you don't even have to use a carrot like to be honest you don't but since have full carrot carrots basically make you go faster um make sure opponent is in front of his horse that way when he slaps the horse and gets the boost we get it with him because we're basically in front of his horse so oh my god he's going crazy shoot the great Ganondorf found out this about this hum humiliation and I can't read at all right now because I'm stupid. You can keep the horse for another round. Oh, well this is a wager. I thought we were going to do 50 rupees. But you know what, whatever. I'm going to go for it obviously because why wouldn't I want a pretty pony? I always wanted a pretty pony but I always hit it too. I don't ever want to tell my friends because that was kind of girly but you know. Ponies are awesome, guys. I wish I could name a pony. I'd call her Pony. Ponytail, red hair, donkey, whatever. So we won the race. Woohoo. Whoop de doop de doo. That was a perfect race. I won again. What's up with that horse? Is that a pony? How did you tame that wild ho horse right under my nose? Or your mustache? Eh. Yeah, you see what I did there? Um, whatever. Ha ha, okay, why are you laughing? No, no, I hate plants. As I promise I'll give you the horse, da da da. However, oh no, I'll never let you leave this ranch. So we're doomed. Oh my god, he's not kidding. He actually shut this small gate, but you know, we're outside, it's not like we're trapped. And oh my god, I want to jump over that fence and not make it, but no, I did. Holy crap, a moly. You guys see that? I'm alive. Oh my god. We escaped the ranch. Do you guys believe that? Okay, I do because I beat this game thousands of times. But yeah, so basically you had three places you can navigate to jump over the ranch because around it there's these same fences. I jumped out of this one closer to Kakariko Village. Because once again, we haven't been there in seven years. We got Pona. Right now, all you do is play a Pona song on Hyrule Field. She'll come running to you. You only can ride her in Hyrule Field. I want to just give out that tip. Now, we're going to head to Kakariko Village. But not in this episode, guys. Alright. So, let's get on kind of with the main quest. We did a Pona side quest right now. Let's go in Hyrule Field. Shut the hell up, Navi. I'm not going to talk to you. Send this episode on peace. See you guys then.